Everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica. We got a really fun episode for you guys this week because we're taking a look at the standard Dreamcast intro logo, but the game they're going to be seeing next is very non-standard Dreamcast, and that is Metal Slug 6, because this was originally released on the Atomus Wave. Now, this is not my conversion. Uh, like a year ago, I conjectured whether or not Atomus Wave or Dreamcast conversions would be possible, because the Atomus Wave is just Dreamcast hardware with a little bit of extra RAM. And depending on how much of that RAM the developers used, you may have an issue converting games to Dreamcast, or maybe you'd be underneath that RAM ceiling and could run it on a stock system. And while there's not a lot of details on how they technically did this, whether or not the code base for the Atomus Wave version is one-to-one -one compatible to run on the Dreamcast, Either way, it is extremely impressive because converting games from one platform to another is not easy. I've been working on it with the 3DO M2 for a while now, and to see that somebody else is working on something very similar really makes me happy because I'm all about game preservation and I love seeing new and exciting projects. Now granted, you could just emulate the Atomus Wave all day long and play this game. It is available to play in other formats. But taking out a project and getting a conversion like this done just feels special, and it's not every day that we get something like that happening. I mean, you can run a Thomas Wave games on the Sega Naomi with a netboot system, and that's how close all this hardware really is. The Sega Naomi, the Naomi 2, the Dreamcast, and the Thomas Wave all share a common enough platform that they're almost the same system, just with minor revisions. Granted, the Naomi 2 is a lot more revised than the original Naomi, but really, Sega kept this hardware humming for a really long time, and now you can play Metal Slug 6 on your Dreamcast. Now, I am emulating this in Demule, or Demule, however you pronounce it, but I did test it on an original Dreamcast with my optical disc emulator, and it ran perfectly fine. Just for ease of capture, I'm doing it on the computer because my Dreamcast only has VGA out. And for some strange reason, my Elgato HD60X does not like playing well with that VGA out. It always drops signal and frame, so we're just doing it via emulation. But no matter how you play this game, Metal Slug 6 is awesome. It wasn't as well reviewed when it came out as the original five Metal Slug games on the Neo Geo MVS and AES. But I absolutely love all of the Metal Slug franchise, and being able to sit down on my couch without having to hook up an arcade board and my super gun is absolutely awesome, because playing it on the Dreamcast is playing it on original hardware, because the processors, the GPU, they are identical across both boards. So the only difference is you're burning it to a CD or you're putting it on an optical disc emulator versus putting in a solid state cartridge into the Atomus Wave, because that was the difference between the Atomus Wave and the Dreamcast, is that they use solid state RAM, sorry, ROM cartridges versus the Naomi, which could also use a GD ROM drive and save it onto a net dim setup. But this game is just legit amazing. So this is kind of a mini review of Metal Slug 6 in general. You can't get enough awesome action out of this game. It has the same classic formula as Metal Slug. It's just on a new platform, but it really looks and feels almost identical. Now, if you take a look in the background, you're going to see that a lot of the backgrounds are higher resolution and look nicer than what the Neo Geo MVS and AES could put up. But as far as all the sprites are concerned, they look like they're just completely reused from the Neo Geo games, and that's totally fine to me because the sprite work, the detail in the environments, and the overall cartoony nature of everything you're seeing in a Metal Slug game was perfect before the Atomus Wave, so it was smart of SNK, at least in my opinion, not to mess around with that formula. You're just getting more of a good thing, and I can never complain too much about something like like that. It just looks and feels like a Metal Slug game, and that's because it's exactly that. It's Metal Slug from some of the makers that made the original five. So as far as playing this on a Dreamcast is concerned, the Dreamcast controller feels awesome. When I'm playing this here on Demule, I'm using my Xbox One controller, and again, it is absolutely outstanding, no complaints whatsoever. But if you do want to play this game, I bet people are going to start making reproduction discs with custom art and selling them on things like Etsy and eBay. And while that's kind of fun, I never know quite how to feel about that. If the original modder of this game to make it work on Dreamcast is involved, sure. But if people are just selling his work on a disc, that would be a little bit of a bummer because we all like to get credit for the work we do. And like I said, I had nothing to do with this mod whatsoever. Last year I said, hey, I wonder if it was possible, but all my time's been dedicated to modifying and converting 3DO M2 games and coding for those sort of things to run. But if someone started reproducing my work, my ISOs that I sent out into the world and started selling them, I might be a little disappointed, but it is kind of what it is. But as far as an effort is concerned, I'm not even sure who made this mod. I've read a few things about it, but I haven't heard much of the details behind it. But 100% gigantic credit to them. I'm sure it was not an easy project, and it's one that really wasn't technically necessary, because like I said, you can emulate a Thomas Wave all day long, no big deal. That's what I'm doing here with Dreamcast, in fact. 
But the fact that somebody wanted to sit down and actually put the effort into doing something like this is really what I really love and appreciate and what I always advocate on my channel, which is just do something because you enjoy it. Modify something to share it with more people. The more attention these games get, the more attention this effort gets, the more it may happen in the future. And that's all I can really hope for when I do this channel and when I talk about my mod work or other people's mod work is the more people that know about it, the more people that enjoy it, the more people may get involved in it, and then more new and exciting things may actually happen. And you can't beat a Metal Slug game shooting these aliens. That little squeak noise they make is classic Metal Slug. What I'll let you do is just listen to a little bit of the game. This isn't really a full review. I was thinking about popping this on my unported arcade playlist at some point in time, but obviously it's now ported, so that's completely dead in the water. But enjoy the music, enjoy the sounds, enjoy the visuals, and I'll be back in about a minute, and we'll close out this special video on Metal Slug 6 on the Dreamcast. And the poor aliens are going to have their brains eaten out. And I know they're a villain in the game, but they're just so fun and cute. I feel bad that they just had their brains snacked on. But this is an outstanding effort by whoever made this. Getting an Atomus Wave game to run on the Dreamcast, I'm sure, was no small feat. And hopefully this starts a trend and we start seeing more and more games modded over to the system. Because that's all I can really hope for. And if you're thinking about doing a project like this and you don't think you can do it, you probably can. I've done a lot of mod work and I have a filmmaking degree, not an engineering degree. So trust me, you can probably pull it off too. Talk to people that know more than you. Get involved in groups. Get on Discord chats. It's really not as hard as you think. You can bring something to the table. But short of that, thanks so much for watching. You can even pause the game. That's great. If you do me a huge favor, go down below and hit like and subscribe. It definitely helps us out. But if you want to check out Metal Slug 6 on the Dreamcast, you can do it. The download links are available online. I'm not going to leave it in my description because I didn't produce this. Otherwise, we'll be back on Sunday with more videos in our Unported Arcade playlist and on Tuesday as well. But see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.